Hello everyone. Well, let's talk about light heavyweights. Bevil did he got robbed? I was backing Bevil to win this fight. I thought he won the fight. Okay, I thought that, and uh, because of the negative backlash, I decided, guys, I'm gonna go rewatch the fights, specifically round eight to twelve, because people were saying uh, Bevil didn't win rounds over there. I thought, you know, this is a bit eh. So I rewatched it. And this is what I'm gonna give you. These are my two takes. And what can I say? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know, I'm, I'm all good with that. So guys, let's deep dive and let's see what conclusion I just come up with. So yes, people, I did comparisons because most people were raging regarding between round 1 and 3 and 8 and 9. And here are the punch stats and scorecards. So honestly, let's deep dive into this. Did Bevel get robbed or not really? Okay, again guys, I was backing Bevel, I rewatched the fight, 1 to 3, 8 to 12, and let's do this. So guys, 1 to 3 scorecards, uh, I'm going with the zone, the zone was saying uh, it's all Bevel, I was going it's all Bevel, but round 3, if we compare judges card, judges were switching around, uh, they were giving it to better Bevel, I think it was close, I thought it was close in my eyes, but it still was... Beaver. I think he pulled it through, okay? And now we're going 8 to 12. This is like the, the big part where some people are screaming Beaver didn't won a single round 8 to 12. Personally, I did not even remember that. I thought it was very competitive and there must be some rounds, okay? So let's jump into this. Okay, so let's see, round 8. I thought it was very close, judges gave it to Beaver. I thought it could go either way. I gave it to Better Bio, okay? Round 9, definitely Bivol. No questions there. But 10, 11, 12. What? Okay, guys, this is where it really hits the fan. So, people, yes, round 10, 11, 12. The light bulb went off into my head. How come I remember round 10, 11, 12 being competitive? Makes no sense. Because the zone card says Bevel lost them. All the three judges said Bevel lost them. I don't understand because my memory must be playing up. And then it hit me, guys. When I was rewatching the fight, I fully grasped that one aspect that every single round, every single round, Bevel has taken more and more time off and started the round. He's been stealing the rounds. And there is a pattern, and the pattern is he only starts boxing in the middle of the round and he always tries to finish very strongly. But at this stage, he starts so late he cannot make up for the gap he gave to Betibiev at the start of the fight. That's the difference. And when I rewatch these, these rounds, that's what I saw. Betibiev throwing a sea of shots, just were they landing? Not really. And that's been backed up by punch stats. The, those shots didn't really land that much. And when they landed, they were singles or maybe doubles. There were no fancy combinations. And then comes the middle of the round, where Bivol throws another good combination, looks very flashy, goes to highlight videos, and then he takes a break. And again, Betty Bill works, works, works. Another good exchange with combinations. Then we get end of the round where both fighters engage trade shots and the round just finishes. And this kind of fools your perception of boxing. Because for surely, when I was thinking back about it, I was like, no, it was like a really close fourth fight. And it wasn't, guys. When you look at the last three rounds, it wasn't. And that was what Bevel was doing all the time. He was trying to steal the fight. He was looking to steal the fight uh, by being very proficient and just wasting as much time as possible, keeping the distance. But even when he was keeping the distance, there were some shots coming in from Betebiev. They were not that amazing, but they did piled up because he was giving up that one minute, guys. And that's literally, I like to say, how the perception of the boxing match kind of changed. And after rescoring the fight, I need to say that Bevel lost the fight. He did, because he gave up the rounds, especially the, the second part of the fight. On the last rounds, 8 to 12, personally, I could only give him round number 9. 
I didn't even give him round number eight. It could be here and there, but that's the thing. He was trying to steal the rounds. And again, commentary from the zone, they were really biased to one side towards Bivol. Yes, biased commentary, smooth Bivol's boxing style, rugged boxing style for a better view. Um, it kind of gives you the whole impression that one guy is in total control of the fight because even if he's taking the shots, his exits and movements outwards and circling are just so well done, we don't kind of really assume he's been in any trouble at all. But when you rewatch the fight, you kind of can see that, yes, better be of shots, not flashy, rugged, but they landed here and there, and especially in the first minute. First minute of the rounds, he did land a lot of shots and he really piled it up. No great highlight videos there, but if you are scoring rounds to rounds, Bivol did not win the fight. He was stealing the fight and that was the whole game plan. He was very smart, he was very meticulate, very professional, but <laughs> yeah guys. So this is how my opinion changed. Um, maybe you and rewatch the fight, leave your thoughts below and maybe you're gonna change your opinions. Anyway, Mr. Zass out, till next time.